Is your bank or credit union running online giveaways? Great, but you have to make sure you're following the law. Hi, I'm social media attorney Ethan Wall, and I'm here to talk to you about the laws that govern bank and credit union giveaways, contests, and sweepstakes. You see, each time you run one of these online giveaways, you're gonna get great results. Whether it's lots of engagement, more followers, more members, people come out of the woodwork to be able to participate in your giveaways and get the free stuff. But some financial institutions don't know that these online giveaways are governed by state and federal law, and failure to follow them could get you sued, criminally charged in some cases, or have your social media account shut down for failing to follow the terms and conditions. So what do you need to do? if your bank or credit union is running one of these online giveaways. The first thing you need to do is know whether you are running a sweepstakes, contest, or a lottery. Sweepstakes are games of chance. Like my post for a chance to win a free Starbucks gift card and we'll pick somebody randomly to win. That's a sweepstakes because you pick the winner based at random depending upon the number of people who like your post. A contest, on the other hand, is a game of skill. This might be something like post a photograph on our timeline on Valentine's Day about how much you love our bank and use the hashtag I love my bank for a chance to win an all expense paid vacation to Hawaii. Here, it's a game of skill because people have to follow specific types of criteria in order to win. You see, there's differences between sweet stakes and contests. So knowing what type of game you're running is helpful because there are different laws that govern sweepstakes and different laws that govern contests. So the first thing to do is figure out what type of game you're running. If you also happen to be running a lottery, that's illegal and there are criminal charges if you do so. So you have to be very careful to make sure your game is a sweepstakes or a contest and not a lottery. The second thing that you're gonna to need to do is prepare the rules of the game or the terms and conditions. Let's say you and I are playing a game of soccer and we pick a bunch of teams and we're ready to play. It's important for us to set the rules of the game in advance so we know who wins, how do you score goals, and what happens if you kick me in the shin? You're gonna get a yellow card. and Maybe if you get two, I'll throw you out. Well, the same concept applies when running these online giveaways. The law requires that your financial institution have a set of rules or terms and conditions that govern when does the game begin, when does it end, what's the prizes, what's the value, how are you eligible, how could you be disqualified, how are the winners chosen, etc. So having the terms and conditions for each of your games is absolutely necessary. The third and final thing you need to do is to have the right types of disclosures. There are different disclosures that may be required if you're running a sweepstakes or a contest. And you might need to post these disclosures or a short form of those disclosures when you're promoting your giveaway online so people know where to find the rules and the terms and conditions. So if your bank or credit union is running these giveaways, you need to make sure you follow the law. How can you do that? Give us a call here at the social media law firm. It would be an absolute pleasure for us to learn about the giveaways that you're doing and to let you know what you need in order to comply and even to prepare those terms and conditions or rules and disclosures for you. And if you wanna learn more information about other social media legal risks that might apply to your bank or credit union, just visit financialfridays.co to download our free guide on how to protect your bank or credit union from social media legal risks.